Hello everyone, welcome back to True Fear Forsaken Souls Part 1, Part 6. This is Act 2 and we have a completely new location to explore. So, let's start. Um, let's see what we can do. Uh, I've noticed we can actually only go towards the house. We can't go back or, or turn left or right or anything. But there is this mailbox that we can examine. So let's start with this. Um, okay, what was this? Those leaves prevent the water from reaching the drain. <laughs> what is it with me and leaves, man? Have I got some sort of phobia? Just reach in and pull them away. Of course, I've only got the skull, or the skulls rather, and the lighter. Unless I can, like, burn the leaves, is that a thing? Nope, I should try something else. Maybe I have to find another little rake. Um, anyway, let's have a look at this mailbox. It's locked. Again. There seems to be a logo missing. Again. <laughs> Even Holly's kind of tired of this, it seems. Okay. Um, anything in there? I'm assuming we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to drain the water then? Yeah? Maybe there's something in the pole that I just can't see quite yet. Um, okay. Right, well, I think that's pretty much it. Okay, well, let's back away. We'll have to come back later. Alright, let's head towards the house. Now, somewhere around here is going to be a tree house, right? Hang on. Uh, is a rose bush? Yep, there's something in the bushes, but getting to it is a thorny problem. I can see that, yeah. Um, <laughs> burn the bush. I might just want to burn a lot of things. I don't know. Maybe I'm just finding out something about myself as I play this. Okay, let's see. Oh, all right. We actually have a couple of options now. I can go towards the sort of boarded up windows, or I can go towards a car parked around the side. And hang on. There's a paving slab loose. It seems to have been lifted many times, but I can't lift it with my bare hands. Okay. Perhaps I can get something, uh, like, I don't, I don't know, a crowbar, something thin enough to pry that off, I don't know. Okay, let's head towards the car, I think. Okay, right, let's take a look at it. it looks like this car hasn't moved for ages. Absolutely, it's uh, pretty much rusted, <laughs> from the looks of it. The lock seems functional, but I need to find the key. Okay, perhaps not too rusted, then. So I need to find a car key? Alright. Windows are bolted shut. No way to get inside the house through here. Right. What a, hang on. There's a skull. Oh! Why is there a skull tag on the pipe? It looks like this pipe has been recently opened with a monkey wrench. Oh, you know what? Maybe one of the other skull... Maybe the third skull is going to be hidden within the pipe. I'm not really sure what the significance of the skulls is exactly. Um, what's this? Oh. Oh! Oh, there might be something useful in the trunk as well. But again, I need to find the key. Okay, so there's two areas I can inspect on this thing. No loose paving slabs down here? No, in the tree? Oh, hang on, there is something in the tree! Another collectible. A detective this time. Well, let's check it out. There he is. Okay. The detective told me that my sister has been dead for years, and so she couldn't have sent me the letter. He also agreed that the lit candles were very strange. I wanted to tell him about the picture of the treehouse, but then I imagined the police coming to our childhood house. They would tear it apart in search of some decade-old evidence they would never find. I know I can always call on him when I'm ready to tell, but I'm just not ready to tell quite yet. Maybe after I've visited the treehouse? Dunno. I wonder if I've missed any collectibles so far. I hope not. Anyway, here we go then. Um, should we just continue going forward? I, I suppose we, we could, right? Nothing else up there? I don't think so. Let's go! Ah, ah! Is this the, uh, the treehouse? Let's take a look. Oh, what's this? Those water barrels won't budge. I need to drain some of the water. Sure is shooting. Okay. These ones over here? Sure. Maybe that's my way into the house. It's not boarded up. But yeah, if only I could empty them. Uh, maybe I can pierce them in some way. <laughs> I'm probably not going to burn them this time. Uh, okay. So, we've got a little garage area. What looks to be maybe a door to a basement or something over there? The treehouse? Um... Oh, they're graves. Oh, hang on. Shears! Oh, we got we found shears again. Fantastic. And a load of graves with nothing in them, hopefully. Graves can't be opened from within. Or can they? I don't know. Cheshire? Is that... Cheshire's a cat? Oh, we had a cat named Cheshire, but he ran away when I was ten. Uh, I don't think so. Maybe that was just a story they told you. This emblem... What is it with emblems? <laughs> it seems out of place. I'll take it. But I'll have to unwind the wires first. Uh, okay. Can I just chop through them with the shears? 
No, I should try something else. Okay, the shears. You know what the shears are probably going to be for? The rose bush. There's something in the rose bush, right? Um, I guess we should check every single grave, right? So let's see. Anything? Something crawled out and walked away. No. Uh, this one actually... Oh, hang on. This one I can actually use. This seems intact. Are you telling me I have to dig up my dead cat? Okay. That might be a thing. Um, anyway, it looks like the only one I can actually use. Let's see. Someone used to come in here through that hole. Apparently so. Weird. Very, very strange. Anyway, we've got the shears. Is that all we need from here? Let's have a look at this. Can I do that? Oh! Judging by the names, kids were burying their pets here. Probably because of that famous book. Hmm. So maybe the hole was created for the kids to get in here? But why would they bury them here? This is so weird. Weird. Alright, well, we'll just, let's just back out of this and let's... Uh, well, let's take a look at the treehouse, I suppose, right? Okay. What the hell is that? Uh, well... Hang on. Oh! What is that? Cheese wheel? <laughs> no. No, it's a weight. But you can see why I made the mistake, surely. Uh, let's have a look at the treehouse before we go to anything else. Oh, uh, what's this? Ooh, that doesn't look good. Probably something about the stairs being ripped off or the ladder being ripped off. By claws, you're right. Oh, look at that. Pliers or wire cutters maybe up there next to a padlock? And what's that? Just poking through the wooden boards? Ah, oh, I bet that's something I can read, but I can't reach it. What did I write down? No stairs, so I'll need to find a rope ladder. And a hook, of course. A rope ladder and a hook. Okay, hopefully those things are going to be inside the house somewhere. Or in the garage, maybe. Don't think the weight's going to help me with this one. Um, okay. Well, I guess I'm not going to be able to get these until I get that rope ladder. And the hook. So we're going to be backing away from that. Fair enough. That's probably going to be the last place we visit in this uh, in this act. Um, let's head towards the garage, I suppose. Or should we... Let's have a look at this, actually. Ooh. It is a door to a basement, I think. I'll definitely need something strong to unblock my way. I remember Grandfather attaching a pulley to the treehouse. It might help. Right. Right. Oh, that was that thing that I saw, was it? Oh, let, let's take a look at that, actually. Let's just back away for a moment. That's that? But I suppose, you know, I'm going to need the rope ladder to get up there to attach everything to pull that out. So maybe that's not going to be the last place I visit. Anyway, let's go back to this. The cistern won't let the doors open. No, I suppose not. And that looks very, very heavy. I should have done more weights at the gym. Well, you got one. You can start now if you want. Anything else in here? No, I don't think... Hang on. Wait, hang on. Whoa, there's a couple of things. I saw something over here. No, no, I... Was I imagining something? Oh, maybe that was what I saw. I thought I saw a magnifying glass over here. I think I actually saw some cogs. Yes, I did. Okay. Someone here knows where the bones are buried. Bones? Bones are buried? This isn't more dead pets, is it? Okay. <laughs> well, you know, I think I might have to, you know, dig up my dead cat, so maybe I'm going to have to dig over here as well. Maybe I can use the shears to cut away the bushes or something? No? Okay. We're going to have to come back to this. Maybe this is an act where I'm going to need your help. I'm not sure. Uh, it seems that as we've been going through the game, it has been getting progressively harder. But, uh, you know, I... I'm just sort of in exploration mode right now. Let's take a look at this box. What is that, a fuse box? Something like that? What's this? Daniel, please don't let the girls turn the lights back on. You know very well that this annoys her. She sees them play there and gets upset. Stop blaming yourself or the Lordius family for what has happened. Things like that just happen. Please come back home. We've heard this name Lordius a few times now in the collectibles as well, so... What are they referencing with that? Anyway, Grandfather installed a lamp in our treehouse. We felt all grown up having electricity on our own house. But then he turned it off and never allowed it on again. Who is that her and she I keep reading about? Well, it's, it's got to be Dahlia, hasn't it? It's got to be this mysterious ghost woman. So I think it is a fuse box. <laughs> is, that, is that another missing fuse? I think it is. <laughs> it is. I better find the missing fuse. Okay. Um, yeah, sure. It's, it's repeating itself a little bit. Here we go. Um, oh, can I not just open it? Is it locked? It's locked. But any key will work on this lock, if I remember correctly. Okay, well, uh, even the car keys? <laughs> I don't know. Might put that theory to the test. 
So, oh, I see. These are the cables that go underground and all the way up to the treehouse. That's kind of clever. But what's this over here? I assume it's not like a pit. It's a well. But it's always been locked. Grandpa forbade us even getting near it. And what's that? Looks like a valve wheel. It's a wheel from a cistern. But I can't reach it with my bare hands. Right, um, have we got anything to... <sighs> the shears aren't probably going to work, are they? But I'll try it. No. Just something to... I don't know. Maybe, maybe... I, I mentioned a hook earlier, and a rope ladder. Maybe I could use a hook and, and some rope or something. Maybe the rope ladder, if I find it, can go down there as well. It looks steep. It almost looks like there's a room underneath. Does it? Well, I'll take your word for it. Okay. Right. So we can't go any further towards the well. Wouldn't want to slip in, I suppose. That's the wires. We can't get in there. Can't interact with the boards. I'm not seeing any items in this sort of undergrowth and stuff. So, uh, maybe we're done for now. I don't know. Ah! Yep, yeah, can't go around the back of the house either, it seems. So, let's uh, let's head back. Let's see if we can use those shears, actually. I want to see if we can perhaps get to this item hidden in the rose bush. Let's try that. Yep, it works. Okay. Ah, oh! Keys! Car keys! Hey, okay. Well, before we inspect, you know, the, uh, the the windows and presumably there's a front door somewhere there, let's uh, let's have a look at the car. Where are we going to go? Side door. Let's go for the door first. Okay. And I guess open this up too. Right. All right. I'll uh, I'll do that little hidden object mini game in a moment. Let's have a look inside the car first. Uh, sure. Is that a note. It is. Lordius and Sons. There's his name again. I hate the agency for sticking me with this dump. This house is impossible to sell. It's creepy. Those kids think burying their pets here will bring them back to life. I hate kids. I think I saw a girl inside the house. How can it be possible? The house was barred shut for years. I need a vacation. Oh dear. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to investigate this house all too much anymore. Um, yeah, why didn't he succeed? And most importantly, why is his car still here ten years later? Well, uh, <laughs> maybe when we get those barrels out the way, we might find uh, an estate agent's corpse inside. I don't know. Ah! All in due course, I suppose. Nah, the car won't start ever. Fair enough. Oh, hang on. Yes, uh, the glove box is locked. It seems custom made and the car key doesn't fit. And we don't have the car keys anyway. We've thrown them to the ground. We don't need them anymore. What's this? Something is sewn into the seat. Okay, I guess we're going to need something maybe sharp to pierce that and, and to get that out. I can see an impression there. I don't know if that's anything to do with it. Hmm, okay. Uh, was that like a cigarette lighter, a little compartment there, pedals? Still won't start, okay. And there's nothing else in here. All right, let's get out of this and move to the back of the car. Let's have a look. All right. Okay, let's just sort of scan the cursor over everything. See what we can find. What's that? Ooh. Screwdriver? Okay. Another one. Oh, uh, what? Why have I got to... Hang on, is that an... Why am I collecting screwdrivers? Uh, okay. Is that a shotgun shell? Oh, shit. It is. Oh, shotgun shell. Oh, God, we're collecting them? One of eight. There's seven more. Oh, yeah, I see another one. And there's one up there as well. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, is that one poking out from behind there? No. That looks like it. <laughs> That's another screwdriver. We've got four screwdrivers. I've only got two hands. <laughs> Hang on. I see another shell, though. I see another one. How many have we got? Five. We need three more. Oh, hang on, no. There's six. What on earth? I, I don't think I've ever seen such a disorganized, you know, boot of a car before. This is unbelievable. Finding shotgun shells, but where's the shotgun? Uh, oh, what's this? Hang on. Uh, it needs a drill bit, this. Oh, this is what we're trying to use. Okay. Well, could I attach the end of a screwdriver to it? I've got enough. Oh! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that! Oh! There's probably a way to open this. Is that why we need four screwdrivers? Or maybe more, I don't know. Can we do that again? Oh, hang 
hang on. Oh, I think we got it. Oh. What? Hang on, that one didn't break. Why didn't you keep that one? What's wrong with you, woman? Why do you need two more? Oh, Jesus. Oh, that one breaks. Oh, look at all these handles. Okay. Fourth time lucky? No! Oh, is it work? Oh, it worked! Oh, bloody hell. Okay, well, let's have a look inside. Okay, so this is the, the little medical box, I suppose. And that? Is that the drill bit? It's the auger? Yeah, that's right. Anything else? Oh, yep, yeah, there's, there's another um, shotgun shell. Looking for one more. Anything else? A syringe of some sort of liquid that I probably want to keep away from, honestly. It's just all sorts in here. I think we're pretty much done. Don't want to take the uh, stethoscope or anything, so let's back away. And let's have a look at the handcuffs. I don't know. <laughs> There's a little screw there. I don't need that. What about this? 616. That's like another number of the beast, right? I'm sure that's no coincidence. Ah. S. Oh. oh. I was pretty certain I was going to pick that S up, but no. Is that a fuse? Oh, no. No. But Damn. So close yet, so far. <laughs> okay. There's probably a way to open this. Okay, maybe there is. Well, let's fix the drill. Maybe the drill is for that, actually. Right. Well, let's give it a try. Oh, shit, it works! Ah! Screw keys, we're just getting straight in there. <laughs> and there's even more shit! Oh, but look. There you go. That's the, that's the eighth cartridge that... What? That was the important item that we wanted? Shotgun shells? That's it! All those tools, all those things I could possibly use. And I picked the shotgun shells out. They're the most important thing. I don't believe it. Well, I need a shotgun, don't I? I guess. What would I use a shotgun for? I... Uh... I'm not sure, actually. Um, right, so that's that. Let's actually have a look at this sort of top porch area. Wow! Seriously, as the game progresses, she is showing more emotion. The Botox is wearing off. And there you go, there's the shotgun, right? Good thing it's not loaded yet. I'd shoot my eye out. <laughs> what am I going to do with a loaded shotgun? Seriously. Jesus Christ. Right. Um, is this Is this a door? Yes. And these doors have bolted. I have to find another way inside. Yeah, okay. <gasps> Fucking loaded shotgun. Seriously. Okay. Is this for Dahlia or something else? Oh. It might be for the barrels, actually. Didn't she Didn't she say it was something like, sure is shooting? That did seem a bit, like, weird. Yeah, sure is shooting. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll try that later on. Uh, looks like we got the sort of uh, bench over here. It's broken. Oh, there's the hook, I bet, right? This chain won't be easy to break. Maybe if I heat it first. Well, I got the lighter. But it's hellish being wrong. I guess I need something a bit more substantial than just, like, one little flame. Um, I don't know. Let's have a look at this. I'll sit here as long as it takes, but I will never let them near my daughter again. I don't care what my wife says. No amount of money can buy us what they've stolen from us. And this looks like my grandfather's writing. Who would want to hurt my mother? Was this written before her death? I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, I think there's a, there's a deeper story that we haven't really been enlightened to quite yet with this game. I think we're sort of only just sort of getting the first sort of stepping stones towards it. So, you know, this is, this is a game that just keeps on giving, in my opinion. It's keeping on the intrigue pretty heavily for me. Right, can I interact with the light? Can't go any further, of course. Um... I guess, yeah, it's got to be the shotgun and it's got to be the barrels, isn't it? I, you can't do anything else. Unless I <laughs> shoot the mailbox. <laughs> Probably not. Let's try the barrels first. So, yeah. Okay, if only I could empty them. Right. <laughs> okay. Oh, was that it? Wow, just like that. And you said you needed to do some weights. No way. 
But that was it. One blast fires eight shells. That's a fancy shotgun. All right. Can we go in? We can. All right, here we go. It's locked. Again. There seems to be a logo missing. Again. <laughs> Even Holly's kind of tired of this, it seems. Screwdriver? Okay. Another one. Oh, uh, what? Why have I got to... Hang on, is that an... Why am I collecting screwdrivers? This is what we're trying to use. Okay. Well... Could I attach the end of a screwdriver to it? I've got enough. Oh! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that! And there you go. There's the shotgun, right? Good thing it's not loaded yet. I'll shoot my eye out. 